There is a lot of great news out there on the travel front. The gas prices are down at the pumps. We're seeing flash sales with cruise lines and airlines. And the exchange rate in Europe is really good right now for the U.S. traveler. So lots of reasons to go. First thing you want to do is plan your budget. And to do that, you want to be an educated traveler. So call ahead to your hotel, find out about any hidden fees. Do they charge for breakfast? Do they charge for Wi-Fi? Do they charge for parking? And do they charge for pool chairs? That's something we're seeing a little bit of this summer and people are not too happy about it. But if you know about these fees ahead of time, you can plan accordingly. Secondly, you want to make sure that you are earning when you're spending. You're going to be spending the money anyway, so you might as well have the right credit card that matches your style to get those travel points. For me, it's all about maximizing those points. And one card that I really like is the Wander card. It's by Credit One Bank. It just relaunched and there are some fantastic points. You get 10,000 bonus points right off the bat for just spending $1,000 in the first three months. Very easy to do. You also get five times the points for travel expenses such as dining or gasoline or the price of that plane ticket. Best of all, you get 10 times the points if you book your rental car or your hotel on their travel website, which is powered by Priceline. So that's a great booking engine. You're sure to get some great deals. Now, if you want to give yourself an extra perk when you're traveling, make sure you give yourself some extra time, wiggle room at the front end of your trip, because we are hearing about a lot of snafus out there. So the best way you can avoid that is to give yourself some extra days to make sure that you're going to make it for that wedding or that birthday party or that family reunion. Don't fly on Saturday morning if the event is Saturday night. Fly on Friday or even better, fly on Thursday. Also, remember that the lowest price ticket isn't always the best one. Consider paying a little bit more for that direct mm -hmm. flight because that direct flight means less chance for snafus if you have a connection. And one more tip on flying. Do not check a bag. You want to make sure you put everything in your carry on, wear your bulkiest items on the plane, roll your clothes. You can fit more in. And if you forget something that gives you an excuse to go shopping at your destination. And if you want some more travel saving tips, you can follow me on Twitter at Travel Girl Steph, Travel Girl S-T-E-P-H. If you want to check out that credit card I told you about, you want to go to creditonebank.com slash wander, W-A-N-D-E-R. Happy travels.